You know, over the years, there's been a lot of insect and disease issues. There's emerald ash borer and hemlock woolly adelgid. Yes, and then, you know, years ago, we had the problem with the oak trees with the gypsy moth caterpillars that came in and cleaned them up pretty good. And then we got a new disease, a needle cast disease, and the Colorado blue spruce that are a problem. Right. So. It's changing the way that we look at the types of plants and the kinds of plants we're, we're choosing. You know, and in the past, people did a big uh, hedge of all one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's what we call a monoculture. And we're really trying to steer people away from that because if you have a monoculture and you end up with a problem, you got a big problem. Right. So if you do a little more of a diverse planting, you get a problem, you got a much smaller problem. Right. Um, so if you're using um, a, one of these flowering shrubs to do a hedge, maybe use two or three kinds together. Yeah, in fact, I did one last year where we actually, we used some of the nine bark with a, some hydrangea, and we actually used a few blueberries mixed in, and it was a nice long hedge, a mixed hedge, which was quite nice. And what's great about that is it gives you more color, and, and it, throughout the seasons, things change, you know, but you can be adding some evergreens to that, too, right? right? And even if you're gonna do evergreens, uh, you know, do a group of, like, say, arborvitae and a few of Norway spruce, and then, you know, maybe some pine or something different, hemlock or whatever, because you have you got other problems like the deer eating them, so you know that may be a problem with some plants and not in others. So as we say, you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Right. Um, so first, you need to take an inventory of what you've got, you know, mm -hmm. so that you make sure you're not planting a lot more of something that you already have. Mm -hmm. So if, but it can be uh, difficult if you don't know what you have. So if you need a consultation um, mm -hmm. from us to help you ide identify things, you can always give a call. That's a service we provide. Right. So. All right, so thank you for joining us. I'm Liz Snyder. And I'm Jim Hotelling, the home gardeners from Hillside Garden and Landscaping.